bachelor, did Colton just set himself up for heartache? Buddy. Bobby. What are you doing? On Monday night, The Bachelor made a bold, extremely questionable decision after completing all four hometown dates and facing a parade of indifferent ads in the process, our Bachelor slash shower enthusiast, having already chosen to keep an around for fantasy sweet week, decided to let go. Both Kaylin and Cassie recently faced a mini-crisis when rumors spread that they weren't on the show for the right reasons, a controversy. That didn't seem to affect Kaylin's odds as much as Cassie's, after a tearful discussion with Colton and an angry confrontation with a fellow. But if there's one thing the season has shown us so far, it's that Colton really likes Cassie, like, a lot. So it's not necessarily a surprise that he kept her around. Still, as the finale, and, hopefully, the damned elusive fence jump, draw closer and closer, it's worth asking, was that a mistake? Of all the families Colton met, Kaylin's was one of the most receptive to him. That is to say, her father did not shoot as many cool looks Colton's way as Tasia and Cassie's dads did. Admittedly, I've pretty much already forgotten everything about Hannah G. S. Hometown, aside from that awkward edited lesson where we learned that Colton is just too busy to butter bread like a proper southern gentleman. But at this point, no one's got money on Hannah G. To win this thing anyway, right? Going into these hometown dates, Colton stressed that it is very important for him to receive each of his girlfriends. Father's blessings for a hypothetical proposal. Understandably, both Tasia and Cassie's fathers were hesitant to deliver. The former eventually relented, but the latter refused outright. Did they object because of the patriarchal nature of this custom? Of course not. This is The Bachelor, so their hesitation was more along the lines of, you are a fee, grown-up Gerber baby that just wandered into my house on my daughter's arm after six weeks of dating. Can you give me a minute please? Either way, this episode's award for most memorable line goes to Tasha's father, who sagely told his daughter, you can't microwave a relationship. No word on how he feels about throwing the relationship into an instant pot, but if we had to hazard a guess, we'd say he's a slow cooker kind of guy. Cassie's father, on the other hand, was flatly unimpressed. His first impression? Colton seemed like a, you know, guy. Dating my daughter. He's not incorrect. But Colton's failure to fully charm Cassie's father presents a dilemma, will that setback be enough to shake his confidence in the relationship? Either way, Cassie is going into next week on slightly shaky ground. At this point, she's the only one left who hasn't. If she's not able to verbally express some kind of concrete interest soon, well, someone might have to jump a fence. Back to Kaylin for just one more moment. This point in the season, any eliminated contestant stands a decent shot at being the next bachelorette, you know, now that it's been officially.